Today we are hiking Karuma Falls, or really more like sliding down it on ice. It is full of beautiful scenery, frozen waterfalls, and lots of wonderful reindeer. again today with our favorite company in Lapland. It's actually called Wild About Lapland. But on the drive over here, it was already fun because we saw tons and tons of reindeer. They were just running by our car and then we saw a whole herd of them. So it's already been quite the adventure and we just got here. The canyon itself is about 10 kilometers long. We're gonna run the whole thing. Is that, is that okay? Yeah, good. Right. Okay. <laughs> we are suited up. <laughs> we are on an exciting adventure today. And it's going to be really cold. We are going into Karuma uh, Falls. It's like a canyon with like waterfalls, but they're going to be completely ice because it's so cold. I'm so excited for this. I feel like anytime we like go into a canyon and there's waterfalls, it's just the best experience. This may be the craziest thing we've ever done. Hour and a half outside of Rovaniemi. So we're just fresh off of that car ride. And this is going to be about a four hour, five hour hike. Yep, we're walking right now. We're hiking to the canyon. So there's no ice yet, but we have crampons so that we don't fall when we get to the ice. Whoa, this is so cool. The top is frozen, but you can still see the water moving under it. I've never seen this before. It looks amazing. We just learned here from the guide that the indigenous people here would cut this part of the tree off and make cups with it. You can buy them in souvenir shops, but they're not the real thing. We're approaching the first frozen waterfall lookout. This hill is super steep. I'm gonna be holding on to this for dear life. I've already slipped like three times, by the way. <laughs> Here we go. Whoa, that's crazy. All of the water here, the running water in the river, is safe to drink. It's recommended that you boil it, but you don't have to. So even though it looks dirty, it's not. Oh, that one actually looks really cool. Kind of like this from the side angle better than this one from straight on. There it is. That's still pretty cool. It's time to put on our spikes. I can't get them out of my pocket. It's about to get super icy and super steep, so we gotta put these on so we don't fall. It's really icy and really steep right here. We have made it to the part where we're glad we have the crampons. It's really slippery. Sometimes it's easier if you slip intentionally. <laughs> Maybe not. Wow, this is actually really scary. We survived the first one. No slips. This part is just straight ice. Literally every single person has slipped so far. Here we go again. Oh man, we just barely survived that last part and then the guy just said two hands on the rope so I have a feeling this one's gonna be a lot worse. Stuck the landing. And we get a view of the waterfall. Wow, these views are amazing and I'm not even cold at all. I'm sweating hot. I actually undid this at one point because I was like, whew, I need to get some air in here. You unzipped the wrong one. What did I even unzip? Oh, I have a little pocket here, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> We 
We just stopped on this bridge. It's so beautiful. My favorite part is watching the water go underneath the ice and then just turn into snow on the other side. There's also that little tiny waterfall. It's not the ice falls like these ones, but you can see the water coming into the river. Whew, working up a sweat. Wow, that is a beautiful view. This here is Charlie Brown. It's one of the three big ice falls that we're going to see today. It's extremely old and it was formed when the earth kind of caved in on itself and it formed this massive canyon. We got some finished chocolate. Just what we need to finish the hike. Finish the hike. I'm telling myself that. <laughs> we're like a quarter of the way through. Now here at Mammoth Falls. We're going down a slide. How you doing, Jacob? Pretty good, pretty good. That part was a little bit stressful. Yeah, that was quite, right here was, you can just see all of the marks. You have to hold on. Okay, you have to hold on with both hands or else you're probably gonna fall. Oh my gosh, this one is crazy. It like turns, just sliding down casually. I personally think those are wolf tracks, <laughs> but I'm not a wilderness expert like Jenny. What do you think it is? I think it's a fox, because they're little. Wolves are cooler. Look at these little uh, ice beads Jacob has on his beard. <laughs> I also got some uh, frozen hair here. Whoa, this one's really brown from all the minerals in the water. That's cool. This one is so cool. Definitely my favorite so far. It is massive and we have such a clear view of it from here, from the trail. Yeah, big fan of this one. How do you feel about the avalanche? <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't happen while we're here. This one is Brown River. I think it's both me and Jenny's favorite one. Wow, it's so tall. You get a great viewing spot from right here. Oh my gosh, they're so beautiful. They're yeah. like perfect snowflakes. I just set my glove in the snow for a few seconds and wow. I don't know which one we're going to. Maybe the point two sounds the best right about now. It has been a lot of work so far to hike all of this. Time to roast a sausage. We here on this YouTube channel really care about the environment. And so when this cup says that you're not supposed to place it on a turtle, we have to listen. <laughs> there will be no finding turtles here and go placing it on them because that is bad because you can clearly tell that the turtle is very sad. He does not like the hot chocolate on him. <laughs> Just kidding, don't let her. There has been a lot of hiking on this trip, but we're going uphill now, and it's not slippery at all, but it's a lot of work. I feel like this mountain just keeps getting bigger and bigger. Oh, I hope something's cool at the top of this. Woo. Nice job. We're halfway up and there's an ice fall here, but we actually get to be really close to it this time instead of looking at it from far away. We got some really good exercise. We had a lot of fun and we're so grateful for Wild About Lapland to invite us to this. It was a full day of adventure. 
and we love it. If you're in Lapland, Finland, and you want to go on a small group tour of eight people or less, then Wild About Lapland is for you. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next video.